Grace. Welcome to Love Film. Hello. It's a um, pleasure to have you here. Pleasure to be here. How's it going? Very well. Yes, this is my favourite part of the job. I bet it is. <laughs> um, now, it's a cracking concept, inventing the first lie. Mm. Um, where did it come from? Where did the idea come um, from? The idea was uh, uh, my co-writer, Matt Robinson, wanted to write the funniest episode of The Twilight Zone ever. He just he was ill and he'd watched all these films and he wanted to do something like that. And um, uh, that was the seed of the idea. And when we started writing it, um, we realised that in a world where no one has ever told a lie, um, there's no fiction, you know, which is great, so we could play with that. Mm. So It's got a morality tale to it as well. You know, looks aren't everything. It's kind of the end of the day. I like to think that. <laughs> I try and sneak that one in. It's me getting stuff off my chest. It's me saying Rob Lowe isn't the best man for the job with his chiselled looks and, he, yeah. and his perfect hair. Um, Perfect casting though, isn't it? Rob Lowe as the nemesis, as I the know. perfect human. He's the perfect <laughs> human. And then we've got the heavyweights wading in with um, Philip Seymour Hoffman and <laughs> Edward Norton as a crazed, drug-addled, <laughs> perverted traffic cop. He does it very well. He was He's amazing, isn't it? It's funny, because I we, we, we went to the premiere and um, it turns out it was pro and when he takes his sunglasses off, you hear the cinema go, oh, it's a it takes a while to figure yeah. out who it yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. And, and very quickly, we asked some people to Twitter some questions to you. Oh, Do you on. Twitter? I don't. Um, no. One of them was, what was the first lie did you ever tell? The first one I remember um, is when I was about five years old and um, my mum hated me taking milk um, from the fridge and drinking from the bottle, so she said, I mustn't do that. And one day I, I snuck in, I knew I shouldn't be there, and I dropped it and it smashed. So I covered the cat in milk, <laughs> and I said the cat did it. <laughs> he didn't. Yeah, I stitched up the cat. It didn't work. She no. just went, that's a clever cat, isn't it, that can open a fridge? And I, and I realised, oh, yeah, you get caught when you lie. So, um, I, so I stopped lying. Did you? Hmm. The only lie you've ever told? No, I, I lie <laughs> every day, but I lie, they're white lies. I lie... Um, like most people do, uh, hopefully, and that's to protect people's feelings. Yeah. So uh, we show that in the film, really, that a world without any lies is quite harsh. It's quite a harsh, unpleasant world to be in. Um, one more Twitter question. Go um, on. The best pub to drink in in Reading. You know what? I, I, I haven't... I haven't... Been I there. don't think I've drunk in a pub for 25 years what? in Reading. Um, on that note, Ricky Gervais, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>